Hey there guys, my name is Jacob Javutt and last year I started my very own business in hopes of one day reaching financial freedom. I have learned a ton since I started and I wanted to create this channel as a way to share with you guys what I've learned but also follow me along my journey. On the road to financial freedom. Okay, so it is Monday and today I'm planning on doing a pressure washing job uh, really shouldn't take me long and then I think I'm gonna do some more I got some estimates and stuff I want to do right now it's kind of weird because I have there's a big hedge that I have to do but there's also um, a staining job I was gonna do and that's like a smaller job and there's also another job trimming a tree but I can't do that you know until after Friday actually because the, the guy's leaving out of town anyways I've got a bunch of like I don't know kind of all jumbled and I'm not really sure how to do all of it so I think or the best way of doing all of this so I don't know I think I'm gonna do the pressure washing job today and then see if I can do the staining this week but it's also weird because the temperature is starting to drop I don't know I suppose I'll figure it out um, but today I'm definitely gonna do the pressure washing and then um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna um, try and get some more estimates squared away and tighten some things up it's really getting towards the end of the season um, so yeah, it's really just making sure I can um, get the jobs done that I told people I'd get done and uh, you know, just keeping up with the mowing. I've already had a couple people that um, it was their last mow. So slowly coming to an end the season. Um, all right, so it is time to pressure wash. Um, I actually forgot my tripod, but I don't think this is gonna take too long. Definitely gonna get some pictures though because a lot of these spots are going to make for really good before and afters. Um, yeah, and then I guess I'll just go over a few tips. Pressure washing is pretty straightforward, but there definitely are some things you want to know. I mean, it is the pressure washer has a lot of pressure. Uh, I think mine's like 3200 PSI, which when you're doing like house cleanings, you really don't need a lot of pressure. The, I got mine from Lowe's for like 600 bucks and 3200 PSI is just fine. A um, couple things you want to watch out for is it's in the name pressure washer and too much pressure is not good. Like mostly like on wood, um, you can really easily uh, leave lines in the wood if you get too close. Vinyl, you don't have to worry about so much. Um, both vinyl, well like vinyl like this, but vinyl siding, you gotta be careful because I don't know if this one, yeah, you don't wanna get underneath um, or spray into any cracks because then you can actually get water behind the siding, um, which can create mold and damage um, the interior. Uh, but basically, when you pressure wash, um, you go through with soap. And like if I was to do this side, I would take, you take one section at a time. I'd probably either go to this window here or to the porch, something that is easy to um, separate in your mind so you don't get confused on what you have done and haven't. Um, I'd probably take about the porch I would say and I go you go along top or bottom to top with soap you let that sit for a couple minutes right now is actually a perfect day to pressure wash because there's some overcast if we were pressure washing in the sun um, if you now okay so you let the soap sit on there for a couple minutes if it was in direct sunlight you want to start washing it faster because if the soap dries on there it'll leave streaks um, both overcast this is perfect so soap bottom to top let it sit for a couple minutes and then um, you wash top to bottom making sure that you spray straight on never at an angle because that's how you get into um, uh, cracks and yeah you do that for the whole house um, find a good distance away definitely don't go too close um, vinyl is a lot more resistant than something like wood but you still can damage it and yeah finding a good balance or a good distance so that you're washing everything off nice and clean you're not getting too close where you're damaging but also not far enough away where you're not even doing anything so um yeah i'm gonna take a few pictures for before and then uh get to work let's see how much i can get done on this wood here i do like i said before i'm i don't know i like to be very careful on uh wood makes me a little nervous but man, there's gonna be a big difference on this bad boy. All right, so I'm an hour in. Um, this side went by really fast. I have to get 
just a little bit down there, which I'm at the, the, I wasn't able to reach from here. This was as far as I could go around this way. Well, this front part's done. And I mean, that just looks so much better. Um, there were some really, really hard spots like there. That stuff just is not coming off. I blasted it as hard as it could be for, well, a long time. And uh, it's not coming off, but <clears throat> everything that can come off did. I mean, this is looking so much better. Um, I mean, just look at that. What a difference. Now this vinyl, you can really, really hit this stuff hard. And then this is the part that I still have left to do. What a difference. This side is gonna take longer than the other side because I don't have as much room and there's definitely more stuff on here. But this will go a hell of a lot faster than this. And the back side, I don't believe is too bad, so that should go quick as well. But I'm gonna finish it up. Alrighty, so I just finished up pressure washing this house here. Um, actually, it didn't take too, too long and I was able to do the porches, um, the cement, um, all the siding, fascia, and uh, yeah, looks a lot better. Pressure washing is definitely very satisfying and uh, it's really not a very hard thing to uh, learn how to do. There are definitely some things you need to know, but uh, for the most part, it's very simple. So, um, I just noticed a little bit, there's a little bit of dirt sometimes in here. Like when I'm cleaning off the porch, some stuff will splash up on the siding. So I'm gonna rinse that off and uh, just get everything packed up and head out of here. As always, it's time to do the numbers. I don't think I've ever done a pressure washing job for you guys. So this will be the first one, um, or I might've been done one in the past I I don't think I have though anyways regardless if I have or not before we jump into this I kind of want to mention I obviously have something new here this is actually not new to me um, I've had this green screen for a long time but I lost it I actually thought I had left it someplace but when we were getting out the Christmas decorations guess what popped up the green screen so um, I'm gonna put that to use today I'm pretty sure it's gonna look weird I mean, I won't know until I edit this video, but I don't know, we'll see how it works. But um, regardless of that, this job was very easy. As you can see, um, I went over the tips. There are some things to know when it comes to pressure washing. There definitely are some tricks and some things to look out for. If you don't look out for those things, like I mentioned the wood, um, you can really damage somebody's property, you know, either with too much pressure or getting water in places that you shouldn't. So pressure washing is something that it's very easy once you know what you're doing, but it's also very easy to mess things up if you're not careful and know the things to look out for. In total, I made $300 on this job. This job took me two hours, um, but my expenses, my expenses were um, pressure washing soap, which is I think like $15. I buy it from Lowe's, it's called Crud Cutter and then fuel. I'll say $20 for fuel. So I was, I came in about $130 profit on this job. As you can see, there's not really a whole lot of overhead. And um, to get started in pressure washing, this would be an awesome job. I feel like I've seen so many people talking about starting a pressure washing business. And I've seen a lot of people that just do pressure washing on the side. There's most cars would fit a pressure washer. And I mean, I'd recommend getting a truck, but you could use just about any car to keep the pressure washer in. After that, all you need is a hose, um, <clears throat> a hose and then, you know, soap. And you might need, uh, like I got an extension, um, you know, buying an extension wand. I'm not even sure how much that is, but the pressure washer that I got was right from Lowe's. And I think I bought it for 600, but I could have swore I was in there not too long ago. And I think it was even less. Now getting the extension wand, um, and a hose, even if we rounded it up to a thousand, <clears throat> an extra $400 for a hose and an extension, which it wouldn't even be that much. You could make your money back in, what is that? Three, a little bit over three jobs, um, just to pay the pressure washer itself. 
that job, that was a small, um, you know, trailer there, but that was, I mean, two of those jobs would pay off your pressure washer. I don't know if a hose is maybe a hundred dollars. That's a third of the job. And, um, and then that wand was probably around like 70, we'll say another hundred, three jobs. You could pay that thing off. And especially if you start doing some bigger houses, um, <clears throat> I feel like a fair price when you're doing this is anywhere from 200 usually to 400 for a house. Bigger houses are more, and you should probably charge less for the smaller houses. The one that I did was <clears throat> obviously pretty small place. It was a, a single wide, I think, maybe a double wide, I don't know. But the only reason that I charged 300 was because of all the dirt that was on there. Obviously, that takes more time. You can make a ton of money pressure washing. I've also heard of people that go to even like chain restaurants or stores and they'll get on a routine basis, you know, either in the spring or the fall or however they set it up and they'll do, you know, multiple like big commercial jobs. I also know you can, if you really dive into pressure washing and start pressure washing like motors and cars, I stay away from that stuff. I really just stick to houses and commercial buildings, but I mean, there's a, there's a ton of money in pressure washing. And like I said, it's very easy. I have noticed some jobs are a lot more difficult than others. Some houses are just very, very hard to get stuff off of, or no matter what you do, dirt leaks down the side and then you have to, it's, it's just a hassle some places. And in some places like the one, the video you just saw are total cakewalk and you're like, I want to do nothing besides pressure washing because you saw that was two hours. I could have done four more of those in a day. I mean, realistically, I could have done more, but four more would be, you know, probably, well, considering lunchtime and stuff, a nine, maybe 10 hour day um, with travel time and stuff. But uh, was it $1,200 in a day? And that's just me by myself. So obviously there is money in this. A lot of people need pressure washing to be done. But if you guys like this video, if you want to know more about pressure washing or more about anything else or you know if you're just enjoying the video or you're doing things similar let me know leave a comment and as always hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys next video